If you're starting a new WordPress website, you're gonna need WordPress hosting. Now, this is not the sexiest topic. It's kind of like the life insurance of the building your new website world. Bing! Bing! So let's just get you through this decision quickly so you know for sure where to go to get the best bang for your buck as a small business. So I do have a pretty definitive winner that's gonna be the best choice for about 95% of you, so you can be confident in just pulling the trigger on this, and I've actually worked out a pretty great discount uh, that I can offer you for watching this video. Now, this is all based on research conducted over a 90-day period from December of 2020 through February of 2021, it's not just based on my opinion, but there are some expert judgment calls I needed to make on certain criteria here. So uh, speaking of criteria, what will the contenders be judged on exactly? We'll be looking at five factors, speed, uptime, newbie friendliness, support, and of course, cost. Now let's meet our contestants. We have SiteGround, Bluehost, Flywheel, Dreamhost, WP Engine, Kinsta, Hostinger, or Hostinger, I'm not sure, A2, InMotion, HostGator, GoDaddy, and GreenGeeks. Quite a list. Now for every host, the most basic plan was used, and the same basic website was loaded onto each, just to make sure that the comparisons were, you know, all apples to apples. So let's start with our first criteria, speed. So it's important to know that Google recommends a maximum load time on any given page to be no longer than three seconds. So who were the fastest? Uh, within the US, Bluehost was fastest at 0.3 seconds, which is actually really good, followed by InMotion at 1.2 seconds, and at number three, we have a three-way tie between GoDaddy, HostGator, and Flywheel, each right around 1.3 seconds. Now, obviously, the size of the page matters, but what we're really measuring here is who serves up the same size page the fastest, and Bluehost is the clear winner for this category. Next up, let's look at uptime, which is just, you know, the percentage of time that the site was actually up and working. So ideally, this would always be 100%, but even as tech gets better, things still do go wrong occasionally. And this one's easy. These three all had a perfect 100% uptime over those 90 days. We're talking Flywheel, Bluehost, and HostGator. But beyond that, all our contenders did pretty well here, except uh, GoDaddy dipped down to 88% back in December, meaning that the test site was down for 12% of that month. Not what you want to see for sure. Okay, now let's move on to our top three newbie friendly choices. Now, this does come down to judgment on some level, but in my opinion, these three hosts are just hands down the easiest to get up and running with even if you've never bought hosting or you've never had to install WordPress in your life. Now these three are in no particular order, SiteGround, Flywheel, and Bluehost, right? They all have a really nice, clean user experience. Um, they, they don't feel overwhelming like some of the other choices on the list. And they all make it incredibly easy to install your WordPress in just a few clicks so you can literally buy your plan and be inside your WordPress dashboard creating your new site within about three minutes. Okay, next, this one is super important, especially if you're a newbie, and that's customer support. You know, how easy is it gonna be to get help when you need it? I don't know about you, but if a company doesn't have a phone or at least a live chat line for support, I'm out, right? I don't wanna mess with help tickets and emails. There's just way too much back and forth over a prolonged period of time. Um, I don't like it. So with most things being equal here, and most of the hosting companies having pretty good support scores, all of them have live chat support available. Um, I made my final choices here just based on who also has phone support, what I do consider to be the gold standard of when you need something fixed. So first of all, GoDaddy does have phone support, but there are times when you have to wait a really long time, so I'm gonna knock them off the list. The competition here is just too stiff for us to put up with that, right? So um, also WP Engine has phone support, but only if you're on a higher ticket plan, so they're out too. So what we're left with here is Green Geeks, SiteGround, Bluehost, Hostinger, and A2. Okay, now for what you might be most interested in, and that's the price. Um, now I will say, 
Maybe price isn't your biggest priority, but this video is all about the best cheap WordPress hosting plan, so I'm gonna be weighing it into my final decision for sure, along with all the other uh, quality scores. Okay, so let's see our three most affordable options. So coming in at the cheapest, we have Hostinger at $159 per month, that's super cheap, uh, followed by DreamHost at $259, and our next contender normally is way up on the list at $8.99, but I'm putting it in the top three because I have an affiliate discount link you can use to get Bluehost for more than half off of that at just $2.95 a month. I worked that out with them as a way of saying thank you to you. No, sir, when I thank somebody, I really thank them. So, thank you. So for that reason, and because it falls pretty squarely in the top three in every single category here, I'm giving the edge to Bluehost with honorable mentions for SiteGround and Flywheel. All three of them are pretty excellent choices, but with those other two coming in at $6.99 and $13 respectively, I do think Bluehost is just the best overall quality to price value on our list. And I'm not just blindly recommending this uh, to you, my own site is hosted on Bluehost as well. So uh, click right here to get that discount, or if you want the step-by-step -step of how to get the hosting, get WordPress set up and started on actually creating your site with a really simple drag and drop page builder in less than 10 minutes, this is the video you want. I cover every single step in order, so you're gonna be in business in no time. So just click right here and I'll walk you through all of it. See you there.